This video reviews our money system. Our money system in Canada is made up of coins and bills. We have six coins, each with a different value. The coin with the least value is the nickel. It usually has a beaver picture. This coin has a value of five cents. It can be written using the cent sign that comes after the number. It can also be written with the dollar sign. It is less than a dollar, so a zero is placed in front of the decimal. The coin with the next smallest value is the dime. It usually has a blue nose picture. This coin has a value of 10 cents. It can be written using the cent sign. It can be written with the dollar sign. The coin with the next smallest value is the quarter. It usually has a caribou on it, but sometimes special quarters are made with different images. This coin has a value of 25 cents. It can be written using the cent sign, and it can be written with the dollar sign. Here is a special quarter to commemorate Remembrance Day. Here is a special 2017 quarter to commemorate 125 years of Stanley Cup playoffs. Our $1 coin is called a loony, named after the loon. This coin has a value of 100 cents, which is equivalent to $1. Although it can be written using the cent sign, it is usually written with the dollar sign. Our $2 coin is called a toonie. This coin has a value of 200 cents, which is equivalent to $2. Although it can be written using the cent sign, it's usually written with the dollar sign. Canada has bills with different values. While the pictures may not always be the same, the color for each value is consistent. $5 is always blue. $10 is always purple, $20 is green, $50 is red, and $100 is brown. In 2018, Canada issued a new $10 bill with a portrait of Viola Desmond, a black Nova Scotian businesswoman who challenged racial segregation in 1946. Like all $10 bills, it is purple. Skip counting and counting on is used when counting coins. With a mix of coins, skip count by starting with the coins of the largest value and work your way toward the smallest. Take a look. Start with the largest value coin, 25 cents. Next are three dimes, so we can count up by tens to 35 cents, 45 cents, and 55 cents. Next is a nickel, so we can count up by five from 55 cents to 60 cents. 60 cents can be written with a cent sign after it, or with the dollar sign in front. Here is another example. Starting from the coins of the largest value, $2, we count up by $1 to $3, by $1 to $4. Now the coins are worth less than a dollar, so we need to count up using cents. Count up by $0.25 cents to $4.25. Next, count up by $0.10 cents to $4.35. Finally, count up by five cents to four dollars and forty cents. Four dollars and forty cents is written with the dollar sign. Counting with bills follows the same process. Starting with the largest bill, in this case it is a one hundred dollar bill, we will add ten dollars to get to one hundred ten dollars. Add another ten to one hundred twenty. Add another ten to one hundred thirty dollars. Then we will add $5 to get to $135. We will add our loony to get to $136. Then we will start adding the cents. 10 cents takes us to $136.10. And five cents more takes us to $136.15. This is red, $136.15. Notice, just like with any numbers, the word and is used only to show the decimal. It is written with the dollar sign to the left of the numbers and the decimal between the dollars and the cents. Now it's your turn to try representing and counting money. Thank you for watching this video.